Houston is a hotbed for basketball talent at the high school level, and that includes the coaches. Well, this past season was the final one for a man who has done and seen it all. Ronnie Courtney is retiring. Hard to believe, even for those so close to him. Champions. Put your hands together. For, for 37 five. years, these are the sounds <laughs> that Ronnie Courtney has grown accustomed to. It's, it's been a, a, a rewarding career, um, one that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. The atmosphere of Pac Gym's excitement of high school basketball soon will be a thing of the past, but a coaching career. What I need you to do right now is focus on what's the task at hand. That is hard to forget is to go out here and try to win a basketball game. I just can't think of anything else at this level that I can do that says come back and keep doing it. Well, at his home, there's a room that does detail everything he's already done. My wife put my accomplishments up. Trophies, championship rings, even a gavel from the Texas State Legislature given to him after a Willow Ridge State title. The legacy begins. A fitting gift since those teams brought about his on-court proceedings and everything that followed. Those guys probably would be the reason why I am where I am and I, who, I am who I am today. His old school coaching styles helped those Eagles soar to back to back state titles. Courtney still remembers how it all got started. The first year I'm there, I see TJ Ford walking the halls. I'm like, hey man, what, what are you doing here? He, he definitely is, is you know, the best coach to ever come out of, out, of, out of Houston. My sophomore year, we was like, 20 and 3 or 20 and 5 or something of that nature. TJ being one of the many players coach helped get to the next level. Those practices back in the day having a lot to do with it. Intense, man. I mean, he prepared us for college. I can honestly say that. After a stop at Texas Southern, Courtney ventured back to Fort Bend County. I didn't know where Bush High School, never heard of Bush High School, didn't know where it was. That championship with the Broncos in 2010 where he coached his son, his proudest moment. That championship right there is probably the epitome of my coaching career because now it wasn't a roll out the ball kind of thing and just sit back and watch him play. Right, you got this one. Soon there won't be any more in huddle pep talks. Move that ball from side to side, move the zone from side to side, then find your gap, then get in the gap, then jump stop and find out what happens. Or tense moments with refs. That dude right there? Just quiet time. I can walk out there in the grass, watch my grass grow, come back in the house, <laughs> fix breakfast. And a chance to finally give an important person in his life a special anniversary gift. Every year that we've been married, I've had a game or a tournament on my anniversary. And whatever she decides she wants to do, then that's what we're going to do. My plans are to either go on a cruise but my favorite is I want to go to Cabo St. Louis. To be able to say that I answer to me now, every day, that's going to be great. I think that I have reached my ending point. And Ronnie's resume is legendary. 545 career wins, 2001 National Coach of the Year. When he was at TSU, he was named SWAC Coach of the Year. He's a Hall of Famer, a three-time state champion, and he's had four players drafted into the NBA. Enjoy retirement, sir.